Hey guys, hello, hello. Just get waiting a second here for hubby to check back there to make sure we are live. So yes, refreshing. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kelly from Chestnut Junction. Um, we specialize in e-patterns for primitive dolls, primitive crafts, and embroidery. Um, you can find us at www.chestnutjunction.com and our Etsy shop is www.etsy.com slash shop slash chestnut junction. Um, if you are watching us live, you will see a red live button up in your corner. That means that you are live with us and you can ask questions, talk to us, talk to other people in the chat. If you don't see that red live uh, button up in the corner, you are watching us on replay. Um, in that case, go ahead and type hashtag replay in the comments so we know that you stopped by and visit us. Um, tonight, uh, we are going to put blushed cheeks on a doll. Um, I'm gonna go over brushes really quick. Uh, I personally like the, I guess they would be called, um, maybe, is it stipple? Like a, a stenciling brush, bristles. Um, the hard bristles, those are my personal favorites. Um, for cheeks these are regular stencil brushes they will they, they will work um, but my personal preference these are too long okay uh, so I I have a short uh, bristle brush it is it's bristle it's not soft it's a bristly brush um, I have a short bristle brush that I use and I actually this was longer, and I actually cut the bristles down um, to make it a little bit shorter. I don't like I don't like to use long bristles whenever I'm doing the cheeks. Um, this is another one I will use, and this is a soft bristle bristle brush, but again, I like it because it's uh, it's short. I like short brushes to do the cheeks. Whenever you uh, do the cheeks, it, it's it's all about going light, going light, 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 and then we can add, you know, more in. Um, you don't want to start out heavy because you can't take that paint away. Um, I'm also going to tell you about um, the paint I use. I am not, uh, I don't favor any particular paint brand, but I do have paint colors in, in like all the brands that I like. I'll pick out a red I like, I'll pick out a green I like, I'll pick out a blue, I, and they're all different brands. But for the cheeks, um, my favorite brand is the Folk Art, and it is the Barn Red. Um, I just find all the other reds out there are not, they're just not primitive. Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to be turning you down here. Um, I always tell you uh, in my patterns to dab your paint with your brush, like to dry, to dry brush, to dip your paint off onto a paper towel. You'll find that if you do that enough, um, you learn to gauge the paint on your your paint and you don't really have to use that paper towel anymore. Like the more you do this and practice, you learn to gauge the control of your paint um, and you don't really have to use that paper towel anymore. Um, but if you're new to this, um, I would suggest maybe practicing that way. Um, but what I'm gonna show you tonight um, is the way I do it and you may not even have to use the paper towel. Even if you're just a beginner, you may not have to use a paper towel. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn you guys down here. And I'm using my my fancy schmancy uh, school lunch tray um, that is my paint palette. I'm just gonna give myself, and honey, you need to, 
Did I say Chris? Chris, hubby Chris is back there manning the chat. Um, so I'll make sure that you guys can see me. And see, I didn't put I didn't put very much paint. You don't need a whole lot of paint for this, okay? Um. Gonna take our paintbrush, all right? And it is hard, to see, it's hard for me to see what you guys can see and what you can't see, okay? I'm just gonna take and just pull at the edge just a little bit, all right? And do both sides of my paintbrush. See how I'm not going into, can you see I'm not going into that paint? I'm just pulling from the edge. And I'm doing it just enough to load up some paint on my paintbrush, all right? Then I go over here and I still just, you know, just dab it out a little because we don't want to go at this with a heavy hand. So I just come in here and I'm just lightly, just lightly giving myself A base okay and see how we just we're gonna keep lightly applying until we get the color we like because you can you can always add more paint, but you, you just, you can't take that extra paint away. And this is just, this is a light touch too. It, it, it's just like, um, I'm not pressing really hard on my brush. And like you can see, I didn't use a pattern for this. It's just you kind of freehand go in there and and um, and just kind of make a cheek shape. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this other side. You guys still see me? Okay. If you guys are just joining us, my name is Kelly. I am from Chestnut Junction. Uh, we specialize in e-patterns for primitive dolls, primitive crafts, and embroidery. And tonight we are working on blushing cheeks for a doll. I think I went in a little heavy that time. If so, I will just see how I'm I'm not using a paper towel. I'm just kind of spreading it around on my, my palette until I feel like the brush is is um dry. Okay. And when I look at this other one, I can kind of see that they're not totally even because I'm doing this kind of at an angle so you guys can see me. But real quick here, I'm just going to try to even these up. Okay, and some people like to um, some people like to coffee stain. Um, try 
gonna get you back up here. Some people like to coffee stain and then do their um, their cheeks, and that's fine too. Um, if you find that you have uh, done the cheeks and you coffee stained and you lost some of the color, whenever uh, you're finished and you've coffee stained, um, I'm rambling here. If you did the blush, then you went ahead and coffee stained and you feel like some of the blush has disappeared when you coffee stain, it's perfectly fine to go back in and reapply again if you feel like you lost some of that color, okay? Okie dokie, guys. Um, those are some blush cheeks. Um, again, I'm Kelly. Our business is Chestnut Junction. You can find us at www.chestnutjunction.com and on Etsy at www.etsy.com slash shop slash chestnut junction. Thanks for joining us. Bye, guys.